Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is the Forex Market Analysis for the week starting April the 19th of 2010. Really fast, as you can see that the week started off with a very large short side gap in the pound. Now, traditionally, gaps are filled. So while there has been there was a large short side gap, it is possible that we will see that gap filled, especially since we do have uh, Ben Bernanke speaking, and he is pretty well known for being a weak dollar advocate. He's also very, very much in favor of trying to protect the Eurozone from problems with Greece and Portugal. However, uh, on Tuesday, we do have the UK... Uh, CPI coming out. If the CPI significantly misses, uh, then we can definitely expect to see the uh, the pound weaken very, very sharply through the week. In fact, I am expecting to see the pound weaken very, very sharply throughout the week because I do believe that we are going to see the CPI number miss. However, there has also been some pretty significant strengthening in the dollar just overall. As an example, you can see that the, the dollar opened short uh, with a short side gap against the euro. Um, but And we also have the yen doing the exact same thing. However, that looks like it is the, the gap with the euro yen and the pound yen are going to rapidly fill probably within the next four hours or so from the time that I am recording this. So um, overall, let me kind of describe what I'm expecting for the week in front of us. We do have a situation where the uh, where the political process in the UK is likely to create a lot of uncertainty regarding the pound. That uncertainty regarding the pound is likely to cause pound dollar and pound yen to fall somewhat sharply, especially if the CPI numbers miss. On Tuesday, we also have the German ZEW economic sentiment. If that number misses also, then euro and yen are both going to probably fall off a cliff and somewhat sharply. Um, and to be honest, that is what I'm actually expecting. Um, I am expecting to see euro and pound both shaw, both fall sharply through the week and dollar and yen strengthen up sharply through the week. As we move into the new month going into May, um, depending on how the political process actually ends up working itself out in the UK, uh, because I am expecting that to be somewhat of a bloodbath, and I mean that figuratively, not literally. Um, figuratively speaking, I'm expecting the political process in the UK to be somewhat ugly. And because of that, because the Labour Party and the Tories have a history of just plain and simple not getting alongness. <laughs> Um, uh, I am expecting the euro and the pound to fall off all the way through the month of May, especially since we still have the situation with Portugal and Spain that are rearing its ugly head. And the situation with Portugal is likely to start to come to a head probably as soon as this week. If we get Greece and Portugal all popping this week, then there's no question that the euro is going to um, fall sharply. So, long story short, my prediction for this week is euro and pound, but euro dollar, euro yen, pound dollar, and pound yen to all be moving downward, and they are probably going to move downward somewhat sharply. However, in the very, very near term, from the time I am recording this right now, I am expecting the gaps to be filled across all four pairs. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the box below.